Well, I decided to check the valve lash on the 29 Duesenberg, so right now I have the exhaust side cam cover off and uh, what I do is use the uh, starter to position it so that the lobes or the tips of the lobes are pointing away from the lifter and then uh, I just take uh, I got a set of uh, feeler gauges sitting up there so uh, see what one goes in 23 thousandths goes in get my 25 25 goes in just barely won't go in there so the front one's 25 the rear one's 24 so I write that down on my piece of paper here and what I do to move to the next one is uh, I just uh, tap the starter a little bit and that uh, get it turned in just the right spot. Now it's time to do number one. So I'll grab my 23. Most of them seem to be right in that range. 23 goes. Well, it doesn't go in the front. Twenty-four won't go there. So the rear one of number one is twenty-three. Twenty-two goes in there. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. And I write that down. Well, we have a problem on the rear exhaust valve of cylinder number six. The lash is closed up to sixteen thousandths. We'll just have one more to check. Number five. We're going to see how that one's doing. Here's the cam cover from the exhaust side. It's kind of a nifty chunk of aluminum. A bit dirty on the other side. Could be worse. So I'm going to set that back on there to uh, keep that side clean while I'm figuring out what to do next. Hey, who spilled oil on my fender? Clean that off. Don't need any sloppy looking fenders. Well, I set the cam cover back on that side. I suppose I'll take the other side off, see what that looks like. This this is the wrench for the the cam cover nuts. So the cam cover's got these uh, nuts that look like something you should be able to loosen with your hand. But uh, I got this wrench that you put on there to loosen them up if they're a little bit too tight. So ah, takes a little bit of torque to bust those things loose and then once they're loose you just do it by hand. Keith Brown is the guy who restored this car back in 1958-59 and I went and visited him in Indiana earlier this year. He told me all about the car and he gave me this wrench. That was a really cool thing for him to do was to give me his cam cover wrench for a Duesenberg J. On the intake side of the engine, we've got two separate cam covers removed. Front one and a rear one, and they're interrupted by this casting for the distributor to mount in. And uh, looks like I'm able to get access to all of the cam lobes, even underneath there. I gotta reach sideways underneath that thing to check those two, but it looks like if I have to adjust anything on the intake side, I'm gonna have to take the distributor off and take that casting off, so let's hope everything on this side is good. Yeah, I can get in at this one under there, just barely. 
that it works. That would be the uh, front valve on the number five cylinder.